Hey everyone, in today's episode, we're going to learn how to position, rotate, and scale objects in 3ds Max using the transform tools. In 3D modeling, transform means changing our object's position, rotation, and scale. In the main toolbar, we have three buttons to do this. Select and move, select and rotate, and select and scale. We're going to start with the move tool, so click this button to activate it, or W, in your keyboard. Then, click on any object. You will see a tripod. This is the Move Gizmo, which is a manipulator, and we can use it to move the object in the X, Y, and Z axis. For example, if I click on the red arrow and drag the mouse, I will move the object in the X axis. Clicking on the green arrow will move the object along the Y axis, and the blue arrow will move it on the Z axis, which in 3ds Max is the elevation. Clicking on the bottom bracket will allow you to move the object in X and Y without moving set. You can see it doesn't change the elevation. This is handy for keeping things flat on the ground. OK, the next option is rotate. You will see a gizmo that looks like an orb. Each color circle lets you rotate around a specific axis. We can rotate on the Z axis, the Y axis, or the X axis. Clicking on the center of the orb is going to allow you to rotate freely around all the axes, but I don't recommend this option as it's really difficult to control and have a precise adjustment. We can also undo our actions by pressing Ctrl plus C. And finally, Scale. This one has multiple options, which you can see by clicking and holding the Scale button to open the Flyout menu. We can see three different options. The default one is Select and Uniform Scale. If we click in the center of the gizmo, we can scale in all three axes at the same time. But here's the cool part. You can also scale non-uniformly by clicking on the bracket, like the XY bracket, to scale in X and Y axis only without the scaling on the Z axis. Even though we can scale non-uniformly, this tool is called Select and Uniform Scale because in the Transform Type area, we can see that the numeric entry is uniform for all the axes. You can change the X axis, but the Y and Z are grayed out. If we click and drag on the spinners, we can scale uniformly on all axes, which is a great option for precise adjustments. To use the numeric entry for non-uniformly scale, you first need to go to the scale icon and press it to get the flyout menu. Then select the middle icon, which is non-uniform scale. You can see that all the three axes are now available, so we can scale each axis separately. And there you have it. A quick introduction to the transform tools in 3ds Max. Experiment with these tools. Practice moving, rotating, and scaling your objects. And watch your 3D scenes come to life. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.